folks. What a treat, because my guest tonight is America's favorite astrophysicist and director of the Hayden Planetarium at the Museum of Natural History. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Neil deGrasse Tyson! It's good to see you again. Well, thank you. I am always, I am always, uh, uh... Over there on the band, too. Oh, come on. The jammer. Give it up for the band yeah. right Give there. Give it up for the jammer. Jammer. I was shaking everything backstage when I was here. You know, I just mm -hmm. couldn't stop moving. Mm -hmm. Just as the sound moved through the walls. Mm -hmm. I'm with you on that. And how does sound work, Neil? <laughs> it needs a medium through which to travel. Thank you very which much. Which means in space, most Star Wars movies would be silent. Wow. Because wow. the explosion cannot in propagate. In space, no one can hear you jazz. Correct. <laughs> mm -hmm. No one can hear you scream or explode. Now, uh, listen, you're, you're Mr. Space Man. Everyone's going to space these days. Why haven't you been yet? Why haven't you gone up with, like, Elon? Or have, why haven't you gone up, like, with uh, Branson or, or, uh, or Bezos? Bezos. Yeah, right? at Bezos and Branson, they, you know, I'm an astrophysicist. So we ask, how high up did they go? Ask me that. How high up did they go? Okay, remember your schoolroom globe in the back? I do, yeah. Okay, At how high above a schoolroom globe? The thickness of two dimes is how high up they went. Wow. So about 100 kilometers, something like that. At most. Okay, okay, don't have to yell. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on your side, man. Okay. We're in this I'm together. Just I'm just <laughs> asking you questions and you're giving answers. No one's Hold attacking. No one's attacking you. At most. Yeah. And so. People saying, oh, I can, I can see the no borders of the countries. Well, you, that's true in an, from an airplane, too, right? So, that's true. right, generally. Yeah, so, yeah. So, so you're not impressed? I, 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 it's better than not doing that. And if, if billionaires are going to compete at something, let yep. it be that and not how big their yacht is. So okay. I, I don't have a problem with it. But as an astrophysicist... You've never been invited on one of those yachts. No, that's that's why you said that. Risk. Real, those yachts are really no, nice, no, man. No, originally I said, as... I'm not going up until one of them sends their mother and brings her back safe. Oh, wow. But then they sent William Shatner, who's 90. Sure, Th that 90, counts. yeah, yeah. That counts. So what, do you think... <laughs> sir, what? Do, do you said, think that's safe? You said William Shatner, bring him back safe? That counts. Some people are saying, like, ah, they didn't go to space. Did they go to space? What I'm saying is, as an astrophysicist, to me, space is moon, Mars, and beyond. Send me somewhere, rather than boldly going where hundreds have gone before. So orbit, so orbit is not space. You're saying orbit is not space. There's the Kármán line. The What's, Kármán line. Where is that? Okay. <laughs> That's the way you said that. <laughs> where is that? Where is that? Where is that? So yeah. Kármán line is the place as you ascend our atmosphere, yeah. where there's not enough air molecules above you to scatter sunlight and turn the sky blue. Mm. So you go up in a perfectly blue daytime sky, and the blue slowly disappears, and the stars come out in broad daylight along with the sun. That's the Kármán line. How high is that? So that's about 100 kilometers. That's uh, what I just said. Yes, you did say kilometers. that, but what I'm saying is, why should the definition of space be limited to how thick Earth's atmosphere is? If Earth's atmosphere was half as thick, then space would be 50 kilometers. If it was a fourth as thick, it'd be 25 kilometers. If we didn't have an atmosphere, would we all be in space now? By that definition, the answer would be yes. So I'm not going, that's not my definition. I can't Neil, I don't know how to break it to you, but we are in space right now. That's good enough for me. Did I just blow your mind? Did you guys blow your mind, Neil? Okay. We all... Okay, I got, I got to... I got to aboard some... Spaceship Earth. That's exactly right. Yes. Now, uh, Thank astrophysicists... Thank you for telling me I was right on that. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I know you love hearing it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? I think that's your ringtone. Neil, you're right. <laughs> Neil, you're right. We have to take a break, but we'll be right back, and I will ask Neil what his favorite question about the universe is. Stick around.